Vic here. I got all these horns on my desk. I want to tell you some stories, and then I'll put them away. And I've been working on something all week. You guys probably hear me saying I'm digging through stuff. I'm looking through stuff. I find my Christmas lights. They were dead. I just fixed them up, testing them out. They look cool on the wall, huh? A little festive Christmas week here. So now, today was the last day of the Southern Zone hunting. Um, I'm done deer hunting. Obviously, everybody in the state's done. So now we're all gearing up for rabbit hunting. But rabbit hunting, we're pretty fluent with that. So I got some spots. We're going to go out. So I'm going to uh, clean my rifles up, make sure they're nice and clean, put them away, uh, and change over to shotgun barrels on two of my shotguns. One's kind of a spot where I'm, you know, I'm not in the brush. It's a nicer shotgun. I like bringing that. And that's semi-auto. And then I have that 870 pump action uh, with a bird barrel with change out. Uh, I can change the chokes and stuff. So I'm going to get that all ready to go, cleaned up, ready. Now, I've been working on this. It's just a... It's a book of all my pictures, starting back from my father. So, just a quick little preview here. You can see it. They're just plastic, you know, like a plastic thing. You can buy these at the store. You can put them front and back, three pictures a piece, and you can just load them up. So, look at. I even got my first deer on here. I I found some pictures. I've been digging for like every night trying to find them. So, put the book together. I'm working on that. That's pretty cool. So now, now when we're telling stories, you got a book to back it up. You know what I mean? On top of all these horns. So now I got to put all these horns away. I'm going to put all this stuff away. But here's our 2015 buck. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. This was a shotgun. Shotgun. I missed this guy with the bow and arrow. <laughs> he came in, snuck right by me. I sent an arrow, hit a tree, missed him. Then... I came back for him and got him. That's how this went down. So it was pretty cool. He's a nice little, nice rack there. I mean, he's gorgeous. But hey, if you let them little ones go, we weren't big into that. You can see in the book here, they're all little guys. And obviously the horns, my past years, they're small, four and six pointers, seven pointers. They're all scruffy looking things, you know? Look at these little scruffers, you know? But, um, let them grow. Let them get nice and big. I understand, you know, there's neighbors and stuff, and they, they shoot the big ones and the small ones and all this thing. Look, just try your best on in your in your spot, you know what I mean? And if you got, you know, a couple, if you got a couple on camera, that's this is what we kind of been doing lately. I, I, I look around in the camera, see what's in the area, and you go for the, you know, the nice size rack. And if you go out there enough, you get them, you know? So... This was my 2015 buck. I did the European uh, myself. It was it was difficult, but I had nothing better going. You, you boil it. I had the air compressor out. I was blowing everything out with the air compressor and cleaning it up. And uh, I had this guy in the garage. He don't smell or nothing. He's clean, you know. Not nothing at all. But there's techniques. There's the beetle guy. It's almost worth it to me if uh, you know you're a busy guy. You send it to the beetle guy and he does it up. All right, that's how I did the, the, the other eight pointer there with the nice board. So that's the way I'm going to do them from now on. So I did mark all these bucks. Here's a 2015. 2015 buck. Nice little guy. Little bow and arrow action. So I had two bucks that year. One with the bow, one with the, with the shotgun. And let's see what we got here. Let's go right down the line. Here, 2010. Must have did good. Look at that little rack. Now notice, you're going to get smaller. In about 2013, 2014, we started getting the bigger bucks. We started leaving the little guys alone. And it, I can see it in the pictures and, and actually right here, proof. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at those little, little nubs, huh? Pretty cool, right? That's another one. So I got probably one with the shotgun, one with the bow. That's typically how I roll. Here's one. I got a buck in a doe this year. This particular year, that would be 2013, the year, the year my father passed away. Uh, November 28th was a doe I got. And then a, what is this? A 4A, 4A buck. Look at that. 
It was probably on our big hill. We lost this spot actually the same year, I think, or the, the year bef after this. We lost it, so it was a pretty fair game for anything. That was that year, buck in the dough. Here's another one. This was a bow only area, and I got this one with the bow. He was pretty unique. Now, I wish I did a skull cap, but I didn't know any better back then. Or even a European mount would have been awesome. Now, this was a big chunk of velvet on the end of here. And this was laying against the deer's face. You could see it. See that? And then I cut it off. But it was laying against the deer's face. And then his rack was this way. Like that. If you can see that. It was just like that. It was the craziest thing. I saw his horn this way. I go, oh, that's a shooter, you know. So, he would have been a nice deer, but... Bow only area, he must have broke that off or something in velvet, and that's the way it grew. There's that guy. What else we got here? 2009. This was a bow, I believe. No, this was a big hill. Big hill, lost this spot. Another little guy. Pretty much it was brown, it was down. If it had horns on it, we were shooting. Plus, I was young and ambitious. Oh, this one might, I'll, I'll be honest, this was the double day, last day of the season awesome and we are shooters we we're getting them shooters and this guy shot with terrible shot shot it right in the butt but i think i hit that that vein that big main vein in his uh back leg mort he only went 50 80 yards and that was it for him i remember that story awesome this guy uh 2012 archery little archery buck pretty cool Pretty wild little thing, man. I was a savage in the woods. Usually got one or two a year. That was my uh, protocol. And my father he taught me well, and he would push these deer to me. We'd put on little drives, and there was nothing better. Now, thinking of the holidays, family and stuff, there was nothing better than, than getting a deer or some kind of a critter or fish or anything and going, Dad, look what I got. It was the best thrill ever, man, for me. And I can't imagine what my father, he, you know, it must have made him so happy to see me putting putting things down. And it makes me happy to this day, you know. He, you know, he's not around, but I still think of him all the time when I get these critters. And you know what, and they're getting bigger and bigger every year and they're better. And we're getting better in the woods. And I really thank my father. Just, I just want to put that in there. It's, that's awesome. Here's another one. This was a 2011 buck. I remember this. Yeah, that's a 2011. This one's really nice. He's a little scrappy. Now, when you're talking about like management bucks, now, if you're looking at these bucks, they're all scrappy. They, a couple of them are from different spots, but a lot of them are from, there's only three spots we ever hunted ever. So we got, we lost two of them uh, just due to, you know, the one guy was retiring, and I think the other guy just didn't want anybody hunting on his land anymore, so that, that's how we lost that. But it wasn't because we're bad or anything. It's just that they they want to have their own sanctuary. They own land, they pay the tax, that's how it goes. So if you're looking at these, some guys with these management deer, they take them out. You know, they take these funny-looking deer out of there because they say it's bad. You know, bad genetics, bad little broad tines and... Funny little crab claws, and but hey, you know, if, if I'm taking a little one and then the other one's growing even bigger, when you find that big one, they're usually really nice. And this is what's been happening. Look at they're very symmetrical, these deer in our area. Nice brow tines. And I'm sure if you guys follow me on uh, Instagram, you see that one that I got on, on camera here. That's at one of my nicest spots, bow only spot. And he is gorgeous. And a year before that, there's another eight pointer. I didn't get that get him this year. because uh, I, I did get the velvet four pointer there. I, one deer enough, one two deer a year is is way plenty for a couple guys. And I share my the meat with my buddy, so it's awesome. But look at that little guy. Pretty cool. So hope you enjoyed uh hope you enjoyed this video. But let's let's get to some look at. Here's basically all the deer might look at this little guy now this was a different spot now there's a spot in our town called it's rotterdam up on the mountain it's like mariville rotterdam princetown up there on this big mountain area 
there's an area with no brow tines and some deer have one and they have an awesome genetics up there and I know of multiple people ourselves and a lot of other guys that get these deer and I can almost go to them I go you got that in Rotterdam you got that in Princetown it's like yeah how'd you know well look at the gene it's crazy it's so cool and there's multiple bucks here these are my father's horns so cool they're like little scrappers man we have so many little scrappy deer it's nuts look at the little spiky when was this one uh 2008 they're just little scrappy bucks we've got a whole bucket of them it's crazy so we're deer hunters we we go for the sport we go for the fun we go for the meat and lately it's been changing for me and now I'm going for these horns a little bit and trying to get a nice mature deer. And I think that's what a lot of people should do. If you see the little guy run by, wait for that big one. I understand no one's on limited time or whatever, but if you can take, if you can let one slide and you know it's early in the season, try to let them slide. Look for that bigger buck. I don't know. We've been doing it and you can see it. It's totally working for us. And you know, everybody around us is doing pretty good, too. They're starting to get a little bigger deer, and everybody's kind of getting on the same page. You know, look, if you want to take the shot, that's your choice. I think it's awesome. Do whatever you want. But in my myself, I'm looking for a nice mature duck, buck and or doe, if I have a permit. And I think that's I think that's a great idea, and everybody should, should uh, try to do that. All right, that was a little story. Now I'm going to wrap this place up, get these horns out of here. And uh, we'll see it. I'm going to do another couple videos here. Got Christmas on the way and I got a lot to talk about. So stay tuned.